Welcome into the latest edition of ESPN FC. I'm Dan Thomas, joined in the studio today by Shaka Hislop. We are now, of course, less than a week away from the start of some of the biggest leagues in Europe. And this weekend, we saw some traditional curtain raisers. In England, for example, it was the Community Shield. Liverpool taking on at Manchester City. Liverpool, in the end, the 3-1 victory. All eyes are on Erling Haaland, though. After that big money move, of course, from Borussia Dortmund to Manchester City. And let's just say it didn't quite go to plan. Uh, over the 90 minutes, he just had the 16 touches. Only passed, um, passed completed seven. Uh, three shots, of course, one of them on goal. Uh, disappointing, especially when you compare it to Darwin Nunez, Liverpool's new signing, who made such an impact when he came off the bench for the last half hour. For more on this, Mark Ogden, Nader Manua, but really, the start of the show is all about Jan Argafjortov, Jan. Um, it was interesting to read some of the media, Barney Ronnie writing in The Guardian for Erling Haaland. This was a debut not just to forget, but to shred, incinerate and bury at the bottom of the garden. Yeah, our industry is filled up with lazy pundits. Uh, these are the <laughs> prob probably the same people who said that Nunez, after playing two minutes for Liverpool in a friendly, is not good enough for Liverpool, and so on and so on. But, Dan, of course, we all knew what the headline is going to be. It's going to be Nunez against Haaland. And when Haaland didn't score, Alvarez scored. Uh, Nunez scored, of course. This, this was quite predictable. Having said that, I think it's, it's quite amazing that after one one proper game that then is gone and i also think it's quite funny with some of the people seeing after the game all the media reports was that van dijk had uh, Erling holland all under control uh, and Erling holland was very bad well on the day if he was that bad he should, he should have had a hat trick he should have scored two in the first half and one in second half. yes he didn't do it but it just shows you how it will be. I think it's more interesting to see how long it will t uh, take to, for him to adjust to Manchester City and how long it will take for Manchester City to adjust to Erling Haaland because we saw physically on the pitch, for example, De Bruyne, Erling Haaland had some conversations about where Mark said they, he passed, his run was too early or, and I said De Bruyne passed the ball too late. So I guess that is going to be, to, to be continued in the beginning of this season. Uh, to, be, to be fair, yeah, most of, the, most of the articles that you read about the reaction said, look, we know he's going to score goals. We know of it's, it's going to come good. It's, it's all about when. How did he react at the end? Did you have any interaction with him? No, we didn't get him. We, we were told by Manchester City before the game, we'll get him if he, if he scores the winner, and, and he didn't. No, no, no. But th this man uh, uh, and this player, this is one of his strengths. He will, he will use this. He will use this as Manchester City and both Liverpool and City have said that the, the first games is, is basically a part of your preseason because you have to get to learn each other. But of course, a striker, and that, that has to be said, of course, as a striker, I remember back in my days when you didn't get to go the first one or two games you start, you start thinking of all that those kind of things but this this boy is 22 and his strength is to block everything out but I think also I, I saw and I've followed German uh, now and went to to do this super cup this this weekend and you see the intensity of the media of the players and the quality of the player that is a step up from the German Bundesliga well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.